Hello students, here we are in my physics lab and today we are going to talk about magnetic forces. Now here we have this disc magnet and we know about disc magnet the poles are to the sides. So I bring one more disc magnet here. Now these two disc magnets are facing each other in such a manner that the unlike poles are facing each other. Now what happens when unlike poles face each other? There will be attraction and the two magnets will attract each other. But if I flip this magnet, now when I flip this magnet, what happens is there are two like poles facing each other and in this case, what will happen is there will be a force of repulsion. So we have been speaking about force of attraction and force of repulsion, but we already know this. So why are we talking about forces of attraction and repulsion is because in physics, small thing leads to big inventions and this forces of attraction and repulsion led to the discovery of maglev that is magnetic levitation. Now what is the meaning of levitation when something is made to hover or float in air then the technology is called maglev. Now this technology of maglev was used by two different countries in two different ways. Isn't this beautiful and this is the German technology the German maglev. The Germans used a technology which is called as electromagnetic suspension. Now this technology, the electromagnetic suspension uses the force of attraction between two magnets to levitate the train. But the Japanese didn't like this. The Japanese wanted to use a different technology. So the Japanese maglev uses a technology which is called as electrodynamic suspension. Now this technology of electrodynamic suspension levitates the train by using the principle of repulsion between the two magnets. If you ask me, my all-time favorite is the levitation due to repulsion. So let me give you a small demonstration and for that, let me take you to my physics lab. Welcome to my physics lab. Here, I'm going to give you a small demonstration as to how using electromagnets we can levitate. Here, I have this lab. This conducting slab contains coils of copper. Now when current flows through this copper coils, it will behave like an electromagnet. Also, I have this disc magnet. So first what I do is, I join this copper coils to a source of current. Now when it is connected to a source of current, it is behaving like an electromagnet. Now in a particular position, when unlike terminals are close to each other, there is attraction. But on the other hand, when I bring the like poles, let us see what happens. So here I bring this like pole. So here you can see when the poles of the disc magnet and the electromagnet are similar, there is levitation. Now let me show you how powerful the levitation is. For this, I take this heavy object and I keep this heavy object on the levitating disc and let us see what difference it makes. So here when I keep this heavy object, it makes no difference. The disc is still levitating. So this was a small demonstration to show you how levitation happens. Now when we talk about contact forces, there's always this enemy to force which acts in a direction opposite to the direction of force. And what is that? Friction. If I move my hand on the wall, there's a force which tries to retard the movement of my hand, which is nothing but friction. When you try to walk, there's a force which tries to retard the force of walk and that is nothing but friction. Now what if we can minimize this and we have already learned how to minimize by levitating. So using this technology of levitation, what we can do is change the scenario of commutation and this led to the discovery of this wonderful technology that is maglev. In its test run, this train went with a speed of more than 600 kilometers per hour. Can you imagine a speed of more than 600 kilometers per hour? How can this train move so fast is because the friction has been minimized. Let us understand how. Let us say this are the guide weights. Now when you have this guide weights, the guide weights of the maglev train are fitted with electromagnets. Now what are electromagnets? When current flows, they'll behave like a magnet. Now the guide box are fitted with magnet. Also the train is fitted with magnets. Now the arrangement of the magnets on the train and the tracks is done in such a manner that similar poles face each other. Now when similar poles face each other, we know there will be repulsion and because of this repulsion, the train levitates. 
Now, the, as the train is levitating, the friction has been minimized. And as the friction has been minimized, this train can travel at very high speed. And this is the Maglev train. 